Hey guys, now that the bots are back, I'm going to go ahead and make a tier list where I rank how all of the stratagems perform against them. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so the machine gun, it's one of the first two stratagems you get when you buy the game. It's not going to take you very far, just going to have to go in D tier. Okay, the anti-material rifle. So, personally, this is one of my favorites against the bots. You can one-shot most devastators, you can two-shot hulks if you get them in the head. I mean, this it is just amazing. Honestly, I'm going to give it S tier. The only downside that it has is that its scope is sometimes inconsistent with where the bullet goes, but other than that, this thing is just amazing. Okay, the Stalwart. So, just a better machine gun, like I've said in my other videos if you watch those. Bit more ammo, bit more mobility. It's going to go in C tier. Not, gonna, not crazy. Okay, the Eat 17. I personally really like this one. It's got a really short cooldown time. You can call in two rocket launchers. You can pretty much one to two shot hulks with headshots. You can one shot devastators. I mean, it's just this, it's overall amazing. No reason not to bring it. It's going to go in A tier. Okay, the recoilless rifle. So a lot of people have been talking about this one, saying I've been ranking it too low. The problem is, though, I feel like the Eat 17 and Quasar Cannon are just both so much better. And it, first off, it takes your backpack slot. So the extra ammo, I don't think is really a bonus for this. And secondly, if you want to reload it fast, you have to stand completely still with a teammate. And against the bots, a single rocket from a Devastator could kill both you and your teammate, and I don't, I just don't think that risk is worth it at all. So it's going to have to go back in D tier. I just can't put it any higher, I don't think. Okay, and then the Flamethrower. Against the bugs, I gave it S tier on my last list, but unfortunately against the bots, it's just almost entirely useless. You have to get way too close, so it's going to also have to go in D tier. I just wouldn't bring it. Okay, the Auto Cannon. This is going to be an easy A tier. Similar to the Sniper, you can pretty much one-shot headshot all Devastators and two-shot Hulks if you get them in the face. I think the Sniper is a bit better because you have a bit more options with how you use it, and it doesn't take up, up a backpack slot, but this one is still really good. Okay, the Heavy Machine Gun. So we can destroy medium enemies pretty well. Unfortunately, its ammo count isn't great, though. I'm going to give it B tier because you can, can get some good use out of it, and it is the best out of the Machine Gun stratagems, but still not amazing, though. Okay, the Railgun. So it got nerfed pretty much a while, a while ago at this point, but I still think it's really good. Obviously, you have to use it in unsafe mode now, which can be dangerous to get any actual value out of it. But you can still one-shot most enemies if you get them in the head, and hulks can actually get destroyed pretty easily by this if you can hit your shots. Okay, the spear. So I feel like this gun has one main purpose, and that is it can destroy the bot factory, so the fabricators. And it, that, I mean, it is amazing at that. Now that you can get two uh, rockets from each from one supply pack. This, I mean, it's amazing. The lock-on is still not great, but bringing this on the missions where you just have to destroy the fabricators is such a it's such a useful stratagem that I'm going to give it B tier. Okay, grenade launcher. You can obviously destroy the fabricators with it. If You can save your actual grenades. So you bring stuns if you want and just bring this instead. Um, I think that it's decent against lightly armored enemies. It's good against the, uh, the striders because you can just shoot grenades at their feet and it'll actually blow them up. I'm going to also give it B tier. I think it's a decent choice. Okay, the laser cannon. Unless you're on a cold planet, I really couldn't recommend this at all. I just think you have better options. Sometimes I found it good against the chainsaw devastators because it actually kind of focuses on them pretty well when they're just running at you. But other than that, it's going to have to go in C tier. doesn't have a lot of uses. Okay, the arc thrower. So I this gun I've been using a lot more recently because I've been trying to learn how to play it better. Um, I think it is pretty decent. I think that being able to stagger enemies is very effective. You do have to get pretty close to them, though, because they didn't nerf the range, I think. I'm going to give it B tier. I think you can get some good value out of it. Would it be my first pick, but still pretty good. Okay, and then the Quasar Cannon. I mean, with how much I've been saying about this thing, I mean, easy S tier. There's just no downsides. I mean, the cooldown is... I mean, 10 second cooldown is almost nothing on this thing. The charge up time isn't too bad. You can destroy dropships with it easily. You can one-shot most enemies. I mean, yeah, it's just amazing. Okay, the Eagle Stratagems. So the Strafing Run, one of the stratagems most people buy pretty quickly. It's pretty cheap, doesn't cost that much. I'm going to have to give it D tier. It's good when you get it, but won't take you very far. Okay, the Airstrike. So this one, this is going to be an S tier. You can destroy... A lot of times with the bots, they tend to line up very well, and this thing is just amazing at dealing with that. Um, you can destroy the Fabricators very well with it. You can destroy the cannons, any of the, like, the mortar emplacements that the bots have. It, it's amazing. Okay, the cluster bomb. So I gave it S tier against the bugs. Against the bots, I think I'm, I'm gonna have to put it in A tier just because the bots have tend to have more heavily armored enemies, so it's not gonna be as effective, but it's still really good. Okay, the flame strike. 
So dot damage in particular, especially against the bugs, the bots, I mean, is not that great. So I'm gonna have to give this C tier. It just doesn't kill them fast enough, I don't think. Okay, and then smokes. So I said this last video, but someone pointed out to me that you can use these to destroy the fabricators. The only issue is though, is it's gonna take up a valuable stratagem slot. And I feel like it would be better just to bring an airstrike or really anything else. So, I mean, while yes, it has a use, I'm still gonna put it in trash. I mean, I just really is no reason to bring this because it doesn't function like actual smoke should. The bots still shoot through it. It won't do anything. Okay, the rocket pods. Um, I really like using these these to destroy the cannon turrets. I find them very effective against them. Um, you can destroy Hulk. They're pretty good against Hulks too. Uh, I'll give it B tier. Got some good value. Okay, and then the 500 kilogram bomb. Easy S tier. I mean, it can pretty much one shot anything. So if you can land a direct hit on it. So yeah, I mean, there's just no reason not to bring this one. Okay, mines. Mines are trash. I've said this plenty of times. Just don't bring them bring anything else you're just going to tk more than anything okay the tesla tower against the bots i don't think it's that effective because that it has to be pretty close to actually shoot things and the bots are just going to shoot it pretty quickly so yeah, i'm going to put it in d tier okay and then the emplacement machine gun against the bots it's going in trash i mean sitting still on this thing you were just asking for a devastator to hit you with a rocket in the face you're just going to get smoked instantly Okay, and then the shield generator. This is the one emplacement stratagem that I would actually bring against the bots a lot. Honestly, I'm going to give it A tier. It only has a cooldown of like 75 seconds, and the shield can actually absorb a decent amount of damage. If you have like two people bring this, you can almost always have a shield on your team at all times. So, I mean, yeah, this thing's amazing. Okay, the orbitals. So, the precision strike. One of the first two stratagems you get along with the machine gun. Um, I think it's pretty decent against the bots, actually. I'm going to give it B tier, because you can, it has a good cooldown, and you can actually use it to destroy the, the factories, or the fabricators. So yeah, definitely has some value. Okay, the Gatling Barrage. It's one of the earliest ones people buy, like the Strafing Run. Unfortunately, it's not that effective. You get better stuff very quickly, so it's going to go in D tier. And the Airburst Strike is pretty similar. It just shoots like a quicker burst that does similar damage. This thing just lasts longer, but still going to have to go in D. Okay, and Gas. So, like I mentioned with the flame strike, dot damage against the bots, I don't think is that amazing. So, I'm going to have to give it C tier. Just, I'll just put these together. Okay, the EMS strike. So, this one I actually really enjoy using against the bots. Just throwing this to cover your back while you're retreating is amazing, similar to what I said against the bugs. But against the bots in particular, because they can't shoot you now, I mean, it is, it, it's so amazing to have. And it has a good cooldown, so I'm probably going to give it B tier, I think. Okay, the orbital barrages. So the 120, unfortunately, I feel like it just isn't that effective because its range is kind of short. So like you can almost just bring an airstrike or like any other uh, orbital, any other stratagem, and it'll do the similar damage. So I'm gonna get, have to give this one D tier. However, the orbital 380, I love tossing these into bot heavy bases or any other big objective, and it just clears out so much. I'm gonna give this one B tier. If you're bringing one of these, I'd definitely bring the 380 over the 120. Okay. The walking barrage, like I've explained before, it's basically six precision strikes just kind of lined up in front of each other. You can get some decent value on it if you just kind of throw it in front of a base and let it just kind of clear the way for you. Still don't think it's amazing though, so I'm going to give it C tier. Okay, then the laser. against the I think it's slightly more effective against the bugs than the bots, but it still is really good. I'm going to give it A tier just because I think you have some better options against the bots. But yeah, and this thing's cooldown is not great, and you only get three uses, but this thing is still amazing. Okay, the real cannon strike. This is going back in S tier. I mean, it can one-shot cannon turrets, hulks, tanks even, pretty much anything. Good cooldown. I mean, it's just amazing. There's no reason not to bring it. Okay, the jump pack. So, I feel like th this is actually kind of underrated against the bots, because you can use it to get in some pretty good spots, which is harder for them to hit you. So, I'm probably going to give it B tier. And you pair this up with a gun, like the sniper maybe, or even the auto cannon. You can just shoot things from further away. I mean, it's actually amazing. Okay, the supply pack. Okay, so this is going to be an S tier. Like I said before, having an entire resupply on your back is amazing. Just infinite stems, grenades, and ammo pretty much. It's, yeah, there's no reason not to bring this. Okay, the shield pack. Not the shield pack, the ballistic shield pack. So this thing is trash. Do not bring the ballistic shield. You're just going to get hit with a rocket launcher to the face immediately. It's, yeah, you can't even use your main gun. It's just useless. Okay, the guard dog rover. So, against the bugs, I rated this pretty highly, but against the bots, unfortunately, it really can only kill, like, the light enemies. It can't even kill the Devastator, so it's going to have to go in C tier. This is better options for your backpack slot. 
And then the Godog Machine Gun is just a worse version of the Godog Rover, so it's going to go in D tier. Really nothing special here. Okay, the actual shield pack. This is an easy S tier. Personally, I pretty much only bring this because being able to tank like one to two rockets from a Devastator is actually amazing. Because those things will hit you at the most random moments you didn't even know they were there, and being able to survive that is, I mean, yeah, it's awesome. Okay, the sentries. So the normal sentry machine gun, it's a decent starting thing that you can get pretty early on, but doesn't do very much, so it's going to have to go in D tier. Unfortunately, sentries in general against the bots aren't amazing because they can just kind of shoot them most of the time. They are good in the new defense missions that we just got for the all the new planets the bots are attacking, but yeah, overall they're not amazing. So the Gatling sentry is going to go in C. I think it's slightly better than the normal sentry, but not by a lot. And then, okay, the mortar. So the mortars are the few sentries I actually like against the bots. I'm going to give the mortar A. The only reason it's not S is because it can't TK, so you got to be careful with that. The, so the autocannon. This one, if you can find a good spot for it, it can be very effective because it does a lot of damage to bot heavy armor. So I'm going to give it B tier because you do need to be careful because they will shoot it. Okay, rocket sentry. This is just, in my opinion, a worse version of the autocannon. So unless you're bringing both of them, I would always bring this one over the rocket, so it's going to go in C tier. And then the EMS mortar, back in S tier. I mean, literally just the mortar, but it can't TK, and it's just going to completely stop enemies from shooting you, which is amazing. So definitely get easy S tier. Okay, and then the exosuit. So this one's hard for me, because I absolutely love this thing against the bugs, but unfortunately against the bots, I mean, this thing... Even though it looks like a tank, it really can't take a lot of damage, and the rocket guys are just going to destroy you almost instantly, so I'm going to have to put it in C tier. You can sometimes get value out of it, but not a lot. I would recommend something else. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with these placements. If you thought this list was good, please like, and, like the video and sub to my channel. I'd greatly appreciate that. And if you did not like this list, leave a comment and let me know what you would have changed. And yeah, thank you for watching this video.